Hey guys, what's up? I'm PrototypesEasy1 and today I'm going to be bringing you a deck profile of my Elemental Dragons which consists of a plant engine. Um, okay, so let's get straight, straight into it. We have a Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. If you haven't used this card already, basically you can banish one uh, dragon card on the field to special summon it for, uh, from your hand. Uh, its effect is basically you can uh, activate it to special summon one dragon type monster from your hand or graveyard. We also have two montage dragons. This goes for the OTK version. I normally have it in just to give it that more flexibility of the, um, the elemental dragon special summons. And also uh, with with a, with an effect of itself so I can um, let's just say I use a montage dragon effect from my hand and I have montage tidal and tempest in my hand I can discard them from my hand to gain uh, 6600 attack I believe it is <laughs> from uh, from a montage dragon um, times 300 with all the combined levels. Now the elemental dragons within this deck are three blasters, three tidals, three tempests, and three redoxes. Um, now the most effective, um, the most effective cards I've seen in a long, long time. The <laughs> the amount of um, special summons I've done are literally infinite. <laughs> the amount of times I've just literally special summon them from my hand and my graveyard and gone into these XYZs on the bottom is really really good I mean I really really hope they don't get semi restricted in the September ban list or uh, in the future because they'd be very very uh, very very sad to see them go like that we have a Necroface, Necroface is a really important building block in, in this deck as you can, when this card is banished by any uh, card effect, you can send the top five cards from your um, from your deck to your graveyard. Now there is a twelve in thirty nine chance, excluding Necroface, um, that you would get an Elemental Dragon banished uh, within that effect. Now, if you were to um, use Gold Sarcophagus to banish Necroface two turns pass and you were to get Necroface into your hand, you can normal summon Necroface to gain the effect of you can gain 100 attack and send all the banished cards into the into your, into each respective player's deck if that makes sense <laughs> um, so if I was to have 15 banished and my opponent was to have 5 banished I'd gain 2000 attack also, uh, all uh, all of the banished cards should go back into our decks. We also have uh, two Debris Dragons. This goes. This links in with the Plant Engine I have in this because um, the amount of times I've had a plant, uh, a Lone Fire Blossom, a Dandelion, or a Spore in my graveyard, I've wanted or an Effect Veil as well. Sorry, I can use a Deb uh, special summon the Debris Dragon, which uh, basically allows me to. Um, Special summon one monster with 500 or less attack from my graveyard in uh, in attack position. Its effects are negated. We have uh, with this plant engine, I have a lone fire blossom. It's only limited to one since its effect is very powerful. Uh, we have two card troopers, self-explanatory if you haven't used them already. We have a dandelion spore and two effect veilers. Now dandelion basically if it's sent to the graveyard you can special summon two fluff tokens. This this links in as well with the normal summon of a redox. Now dandelion is a earth. Um, dandelion is a earth but its tokens are wind. Now you can if you have a tempest in your hand you can um, remove the two tokens that are on the field which are wind attributes and summon tempest from an attribute type uh, special summon from your hand or your graveyard now uh, the effect veilers and sport are used for synchro uh, synchros 
I don't really use them for attacking. If I do, then it's an advantage for me. The spell cards I have in this are Heavy Storm, three Seven Star Sword. In this, it's called in the um, uh, Dev Pro. It's called Treasured uh, Treasured Sword of the Seven Stars in TCG, I believe, in the Tetrion Galaxy uh, pack that's coming out in May. The 8th of May, I believe. This is going off the top of my head. I've seen on a website. Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki, sorry. Uh, um, they'll be called Seven Star Sword. Now we have uh, a Dark Hole. Three, so three, so three Gold Sarcophagus, rather. <laughs> we have a Monster Reborn. Two MSTs. A DDR. Which, basically, I can discard one card to uh, select one remove from play monster and special summon it in attack mood and it'd be equipped with this card now when the um when this card is removed from play the ddr uh destroy the equipped monster so it goes to the graveyard uh preferably you'd use a elemental dragon with this since when ddr is destroyed an elemental dragon is going to the graveyard um i wouldn't really use it on a other a uh, card apart from red eyes red eyes is really good if you have a uh, like one uh, let's see if you have one Debus dragon if your graveyard you can use um you can use red eyes as effect to gain a Debus dragon and just let's just say you already have a uh, Debus dragon or a necroface you can go for a level for xyz of your choice the traps we have <laughs> uh, Return from the Different Dimension, Mirror, f uh, mirror Force, and Compulsory Accusation Device. Now, the extra the extra deck um, really consists of these six cards, which is basically number 11, Big Eye, Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, and Mecha Phantom Beast, Dracosac. Uh, the uh, you can see this one as well, Mermail uh, Gyrobis. The uh, this card is for two level seven water monsters, which would uh, link well with uh, Tidal. Or if you were going to run a Mermail or Atlantean, you can go for a um, level seven X Y Z from uh, from level level seven water attribute monsters. Uh, the XYZs I use uh, linking well with the um, with the plant engine. I did try out the heraldic plant, uh, the heraldic engine. Sorry, and it didn't really um, yeah, um, go in my favor in winning and actually getting the synchros effect because they're really really powerful as well as black rose and red dragon archfiend. Now the uh, the extra deck I have are Red Dragon Archfiend, Blood Mephist, Stardust Dragon, Black Rose Dragon, Splendid Rose, Alley of Justice Catasta, Mermaid Argeo Abyss, Mecha Phantom Beast Dra Dracusac, Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger, and Number Eleven Big Eye. This is a really really um, really really powerful and um I, w I wouldn't uh, i wouldn't say a really broke deck but it is a deck that is getting to the limits of the spell books the date this was recorded um because the the spell books at this moment in time are b r o k e broke they are broke guys if you haven't played spell books then i preferably say don't <laughs> just surrender immediately because they will kill you inside out um also uh i want to take into account is that they have a couple of um spell cards and trap cards in the ocg um there's a um dragon fang reincarnation i believe off a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh wiki uh resource i found earlier today basically uh you can uh, special summon one, one of your banished no you can send one banished monster to your hand I believe I really um, I don't know what that um, what that effect does but it really um, really it's aimed at the elemental dragons uh, since the elemental dragons actually have a spell card trap card it is um, to, to go by now I've been prototype CZ1 and I'll see you later guys bye